Hey guys, we're gonna talk a little bit about pruning currants, and my currants are quite young. There's two types of currants, red and black, uh, for the most part. There's other colors as well, but you can kind of pretty much handle them the same way. Um, you can also kind of handle gooseberries in a similar way, and maybe even honeyberries, lots of uh, fruiting shrubs, maybe even gumi. Um, you can kind of use the same principles for the most part um, for these little bushes and I kind of want to talk about pruning them and training them as a young as a young plant um, and showing you guys the step-by-step -step process of how I've gotten these these bushes from a young state as you see here you know there's not much two-year-old growth on this plant here or two-year-old wood um, to the next year which is a two-year-old plant as you can see here and then even further down the road and what things look like five ten years from now um, this here is a this is a black current and I find that they're really good by the way so I've done videos on the, the both of these um, black and red currants me eating the fruit if you want more about that I would suggest you go back this is strictly gonna be about pruning but you can see down in here, and this is kind of the tip, is that these currants, they send out these shoots from the base, kind of like blueberries do. And on these new shoots form more complex systems of branches. You can see here's one here that's, uh, this is two-year-old growth. This is two-year-old growth. And then on that two-year-old growth is these new shoots that have come out. This is the one-year-old wood. When the, when the bush becomes about three years old and you have three-year-old wood, you want to consider start taking out some of that three-year-old systems of growth because it becomes much less productive um, and then you have to pretty much guarantee that the plant will send up new one-year-old shoots every year that so in this system you have not only three-year-old wood two-year-old wood but also one-year-old wood and you have to kind of select based off of just your better judgment and that's kind of it, you know. Um, as a younger plant, I'm simply just selecting a number of young shoots, keeping the older shoots, and um, that's it. You know, I think there's a pretty good number that I would probably estimate um, that these shoots, these plants should have from the base. So, you know, I guess a young plant, you know, with most fruiting shrubs, there's probably a nice number somewhere between three and ten I think from the base you should have in terms of the number of shoots for optimal production I don't know what that number is but anyway I hope you all enjoyed this video uh, this was a nice little quick one on currents and uh, yeah I'll talk to y'all soon take care